hello ladies and gentlemen in this video i am going to show you how you can locally host deepseek r1 using the automation platform n8n and docker now both of these n8n and docker will be locally hosted and you would be able to run deepseek r1 locally why do you want to host llms locally first of all there it's free and we have no api cost associated with llms then we have full control no third party dependencies we have full control over the model's behavior we have data privacy in check we can keep our own data to ourselves if we're working with any company you cannot allow your company data to be sent to third party organizations and customization you can choose your models to fit your needs uh, you can choose different models for different purposes you can resize your models reshape your models and make the necessary adjustments basically use different hyperparameters for your models now with regards to DeepSeek, it is sure that DeepSeek collects user data and that is stored in the secure servers in china i'll paste in a link that shows that indeed china stores the data that we send so whenever we go to chat.deepseek.com and paste in any questions these data are stored in the servers of china api usage may explicit and expose sensitive info such as the government organizations uh, info your company's info and self-hosting ensures privacy and security and testing on our own little private world so how are we going to do this? We're going to install a desktop Docker first. Then we're going to clone the N8N AI starter kit from GitHub. Then we're going to run different commands, uh, verify setup in desktop, and access N8N through the local host. Well, if all these seem complicated, fear not. I'm going to go through each and every step of the way. So first and foremost, let's go to this N8N website. So N8N, I use this a lot. This is a workflow automation software. Uh, and you know you can use this in your organization to automate different kinds of things. I have seen some interest in uh, my customers uh, in using N8N. So I will come up with more videos for N8N. But the thing that we are going to be using now and today in this video is the self-hosted AI starter kit. Now, the self-hosted AI starter kit is an open source template that quickly sets up a local AI environment. Now, inside, when we download the self-hosted AI starter kit, we are going to get a few things. First of all, we're going to get self-hosted N8N. We're going to get Olama. Even though we have Olama installed in our system, we are going to get Olama. We have QDRENT and we have Postgres SQL. So we are going to get these four things and those will be downloaded via images. So in order to get that what you need to do is since i have an nvidia gpu i'm going to go to clone this repo i'm going to, I'm going to change the directory and then i'm going to docker compose so I start up the docker images pull the docker images and set up everything but first of all i need docker to be installed on my system so i go to docker.com and you can see that we have the option to download docker for windows i'm on my windows system i have taken the liberty to already download the installer which is an exe file get it installed pretty much simple and now i'm going to open docker so docker desktop i click on docker desktop and this should open up i've taken the liberty to sign up with my account as well of course there's a free account and it's not an issue and we are here now since docker is running what we can do is okay now let's go to this folder and open up a cmd let's work here so cmd so we go and go to the self-hosted ai starter kit we go to get clone this repo so we are cloning this repo then we are going to change the directory to the self-hosted ai starter kit and then we are going to say docker compose profile as a gpu nvidia up so we have this running now it's going to pull everything you can see it's pulling everything so we can go to docker and go to images and you will see the images here you're going to see the containers here and inside the containers uh, just one container for now you're going to see different images so you can see that this is being pulled so first and foremost we have n8n which is being pulled then olama pulling n8n import pulling olama gpu postgres 
then you have olama pull llama gpu quadrant and all these images are being pulled you don't have to do anything but of course docker uses a percentage of your memories and gpus so let us wait for the whole pulling to be done and then i will be back so as you can see that the pulling has been completed now if you go to docker desktop you're gonna see four images here so postgres then we have quadrant then we have n8n and then we have olama so if you go to containers you can see that these services are running so we need to start up the container here uh, it's already started for me and you can see that this is a self-hosted ai starter kit and we have all these different services running so for each of the services you can go to this port you can see that olama runs as we know on la on 11434 port Qdrend is running on 6333 and n8n is running on 5678 so if you click on 5678 you're gonna go here to your local setup so localhost 5678 setup let's go and paste in our email my first name and last name and, and then i'm gonna say put in a password a strong password which has an uppercase a lowercase and numbers as well i'm gonna click on next this should make the local system ready for you to use so we are on our workflows now i'm gonna create a new workflow so create workflow and change the name of the workflow to let's say youtube youtube one and now let's get started so the first step that we need to do is add first step here and then i'm gonna type ai agent so i'm gonna take this ai agent and we can say back to canvas here so this is my ai agent so when chat is received we need a chat model here so that we can process that message so i'm going to click on chat models here and inside chat models we can see that all these different models for example uh, we can go to azure chat ai models and you can select the credentials create new credentials chat models that you see but for our use case today that you're doing is we're going to look at olama chat model here this is a local chat model and you can see that local olama service is connected you can go to this edit or update credentials button and you can see that the base url is olama 11434 and that is connected so connection tested successfully it's already done for you and in the models we can see that we have llama 3.2 we are going to download DeepSeek, but for now, let's go and test this model out. So I'm going to go to open chat here and then I'm going to send a message. So hi, how are you? Question. And you can see that if the workflow is successful, we will see a positive sign and a green signal here in the AI agent and the models as well. So we see that uh, we get the output. So I'm just a language model, so I don't have the emotions or feelings like human do. So this is working. But a major thing that you have seen here is that Olama only has one model here. Now, in order to load different models, what you're gonna need to do is to, okay, what you're gonna need to do is go to desktop Docker, then go to containers inside the containers go to olama double click on olama and here you can see that we have this exec so I'm gonna click and uh, click there and type olama list so you can see that we have just one model here which is llama 3.2 and that is actually included in the file so if you go to self-hosted if you see the docker compose yml file then you'll be able to see that it has only uh the olama pull llama 3.2 so we're going to pull another model which is the deep seek model so if you go to olama here and go to models here then you are going to see different models out of that we are interested in deep seek r1 so we're going to go to deep seek r1 we can see that a list of different models there are different parameter models for example 32 billion parameter you need a 20 gb of space or vram to run this model and you can see the highest one is 671 billion parameter model we need 404 gb for this demo case i'm going to take the smallest one i'm going to click on 1.5 billion parameter model and then i'm going to copy this name uh, this is the deep seek dash r1 colon 1.5 b and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to desktop docker and in the exe i'm going to say olama pull 
and this model DeepSeek R1 1.5 billion. This is going to pull manifest and get you this DeepSeek R1 model inside this Olama container that we see here. When we do Olama list, we see that DeepSeek R1 1.5 billion is downloaded. Okay, once you do this, if you go back to the Olama chat model now, then you can see that we have two models here. Basically, now we can select the DeepSeek R1 model as well for inference. So now let's go back and open up a chat again and now say what is one plus three and run this. So let's see if this is successful and if our DeepSeek R1 model was successfully loaded. That will be evident from the outputs. As you can see, we have think tags and this is the behavior, typical behavior of DeepSeek R1. So tell me a joke. We can see that Olama chat model we have DeepSeek R1 is working. So this brings to the end of this video. And now if you are happy with it, we're going to save this and then we are going to close everything off clicking this stop button on the Docker desktop to stop everything. And this means that we brought an end to this local host as well. So this will not work now. This is how you host your local models using self-hosted AI starter kit. So this is how we do it. This is just the starting video. We are going to create more interesting workflows, for example, rag workflows, other automation, web automation workflows, web hooks, and we're going to cover so much more in my videos. So if you don't want to miss all this, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and put any comments on what video you would like to see next. I will be happy to make any such video. So best of luck and I will see you on this next video.